Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to work back on our AJ journal, and this is the one that we started last week, I believe it was. And I have just gone ahead and put my little rings in here. I may take them out and work on my sheets and put them back on. But I just the only thing we did is I have those, that one, and that one ready, and it's got pockets in it, in both of them. And then... I have this one with pockets. It's got two pockets. Two pockets. So we're going to work on some more of the pages, make some tags and different things. But I've got one idea for the bag that came in the kit. We got two bags this size. And these are... Let me see. They're 11 and a half by... Uh, about eight and a quarter. So they're just the right size to use in here. And what I thought I would do is I'm going to use part of one and then I'll use the, the other part somewhere else. I'm going to fold it like that and I'm going to make a side tuck pocket, double pocket. So I'm going to cut this part off. I think I'll use my big trimmer. I don't think it would work in the smaller one. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave that a little longer or just cut it completely off. I think I'm going to leave it a little longer. And then I can use that part somewhere else. So that's what we're going to do right there. And then we'll have a pocket back here and a pocket up here. Now we have to find some paper to cover it with. I've got this really pretty paper. You know, I told you there's enough in this kit to do tons of things and probably two or three journals. So I'm thinking that I might use that there. But I'm going to probably leave some of the brown and just cover part of it. So, so I'm going to go around mine with a little bit of ink. So we got that inked up, and then I'm just going to measure to see what size I need to cut. I'm going to cut it at three and a quarter wide, and then I will cut it at eight and a quarter long. So three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Yeah, I am doing some measuring today. That's out of character, isn't it? But on some of these bigger things, I, just, I have to, if I want to get it anywhere near right. So let's go ahead and ink this up. And a lot of you had asked about our new ink tray. This is it. It has a place for your ink pad and then two daubers. And that's the wood one. We also have the acrylic one. So a lot of you had asked about that. So there you go. All right. And I think I'm, I think I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. It's like somebody's been at my desk. Everything is in different areas. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. So put that right down on there, and that will cover that part. I love that. This paper is just one of my favorites anyway. Um, we don't get a lot of the color box papers in. Most of the time they sell out real fast and, because they don't keep a large stock. And so we don't get a lot of them in, but this time we did. Now on this one, I can save paper and just cover part of this because this is going to be glued down. So we're going to put just a small piece of paper on there. And I'm thinking, let's see, that might work right there. Let's see if that'll work. If I put it back just a little bit, yep, that will work. So that's what we'll do there. I'm just going to cut it at eight and a quarter. So 
So we'll cut it right there. This is the new ruler. A lot of you had asked about it. It is two, is it two inches wide? I had people that asked, so I thought I would go ahead and tell. Yes, it's two inches wide. And you can tear with this ruler if you want. Uh, it gives a little jagged edge. And then it has also some little holes right here, just in case you would want to mark. Like if you want to do some stitching or something like that. I'll do a little bit of it on here so that you can see. Or if you just wanted to punch holes or whatever, it has all those holes. And they're one-eighth of an inch apart. It also has the zero center on one side. And that is, see that right there? And I, let me hold this under it so you can see it. That is the zero center. And then it goes out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six would be at the end. And then it also goes this way through six. So if I put this in the center of my bag, and I wanted to see where the center was on this bag, instead of measuring and dividing and all that, I just put my ruler on here. And then I look at either end. And see, this one says four and a quarter. And that one says four and a quarter. So I know right there is my center of that bag. Just makes it a lot easier for me. I don't know. Some people might not think so. But for me, it does. So I know a lot of you had asked about that and how to use it and that kind of thing. So there is a really quick little tutorial on it. <laughs> and if, if you need any further information, just let me know. But it's really simple to use. Once you use it a couple of times and you get used to how it works, it'll be second nature to you from then on. So I had lots of questions since the sale's been going on about different products. So I'm just trying to, as I remember, I'm trying to cover it on here. It's easier for me to show it than it is to tell it, if that makes sense. I just splattered that glue everywhere, didn't I? And then this little tool, we do have some coming in next week. I have a lot of questions on that one too, so, oh, I like that. I like that. Now we are going to punch, let's see, I may use my bigger punch on that to get a, a bigger hole there or bigger opening pull whatever you want to call it now let's just let's just use the ruler on this let's use our center ruler okay if you there we go right there is my center so if I'm gonna punch this then I've got my little mark there and I'm not going to punch it too deep. All I have to do is line my little center here up with that mark and punch it. And there's my center. That way you just make sure that you get it in the center if you want to. Now, some people like me normally don't care if it's in the center or not. <laughs> but it's better than eyeballing it. And that's usually what I do. I'm going to eyeball that one. That looks close enough. These will have little tags and things in them anyway, so not too, too important that we get them perfect. Okay, now I'm just going to put some glue on either end of this. Glue this little pocket over. Sure, I don't think I got it all the way to the end, and I didn't. That one I did. Okay, so there's our pocket. Now let's find a page that we want to put it on. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. It's just easier for me to work on it. That's the good thing about using the little rings. It's easy to work with because you can take your pages apart, work on them, and then put them back in so that you don't, you know, they don't get misplaced or whatever. And then go ahead and 
finish your pages up, work on your pages, do whatever. Then you can add them all back in at the end. All right, where do we want to put this? Not there. We don't, don't want to put it on a page that looks just like the... Ooh, I kind of like it there. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think that's pretty? Let's try one more and see what it looks like. I think there would be two. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. We can do something else there. That's... No, I'm not crazy about that. I'm thinking it's going to be this. Let me look at this orange one, just to make sure. No, that flashes too much. So it is going to be this one. I love that. Now all you want to do is you keep it away from your holes. Now if you want to reinforce these holes, you can with just some hole reinforcers. I'm not going to because I'm going to leave all my pages together like this. You can also cut your pages apart where they'll open up flat instead of having them folded and have two pages together. I'm going to leave mine together. I like the look of it. So lots of different ways you can do this. Okay, we're going to put our glue on here. And I'm just going to put glue around the edges because I'll have three pockets if I want to use them, or really four, because this is open too, so you could have four pockets there. So we're just going to put it back and keep it a little bit away from these holes, about the same distance if we can. There we go. Go ahead and press that down, and I like that brown around it. I like that look at that brown around it. I'm glad I left that open. So see, you could have a pocket back here. There's also an opening here for a big a lot of stuff, and then an opening here. So you've got lots of <laughs> lots of places. I can't talk. Lots of places in there to put goodies. I like that. Okay, let's make another embellishment. So lay this aside. Okay, we've grabbed another page, and I'm going to make something to go right here. This is our latest digital. I just put it up this morning. Now, I cut mine a little bit too big, so I cut the top off, but it's journal cards, and then you've got some really pretty labels down at the bottom. So I'm going to use this label right here, or this journal card right here, and I'm just going to cut it out, and then I'm going to back it. And then I'll use a label too. So now I printed this on just regular copy paper. This is just my trial to make sure that it prints correctly and all that kind of stuff. But I use them. I use them all. I don't waste any of them. Even if they only printed partial, I still use them. So this is just a one shooter, but it took me a while to do this one. <laughs> Okay, I'm just trimming that white off the edges. Now, I'm going to take this piece of paper that came with the kit, and I know you're saying, oh, orange and that, but look at the butterfly, and look at these colors in here to go with that. Really pretty, I think. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger since it's small. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, but not too big because... I want it to fit, let me grab one, I want it to fit on here, like somewhere around in here. So we're just going to leave about a quarter of an inch around the outside edge, and that way we'll be able to trim it, and it should work just fine. Now I'm hoping I'm not going to regret using this glue on here. I might should have used my glue stick, but I'm going to smear this in so hopefully it won't leave the lines since I printed it on just copy paper. The reason I was doing that. Let me pull that down where I can see it. And where you can see it. Okay. That should work. Okay, I did get a little line right there, but I'm hoping when it dries it should be fine. And if it's not, you know what, I can put, I can print another one and put right on top of that without any problem. So that's not going to worry me. I always print another. 
good thing about digital is you don't have to worry about losing something or only having one of and you've used it and now it's gone. Just print it again. I don't put any limit on my digitals. You can print them as many times as you want. Oh yeah, I think that's cute. Yeah, I think that's going to, when that dries, that's going to be fine. It's already beginning to fade a little bit now. Anyway, so now we're going to put it on a glycine bag. This is our medium glycine bag, so that's going to work great for that right there. But before I put the glycine bag down, I'm going to use some of our bronze age. Uh, this is our metallic wax. I have not used any of this before. Well, I've used it a long time ago, but not this that we've got in. So I'm going to move this. And I'm going to use a wet baby wipe. I'm going to put a little bit on there. This is the bronze age color. We've got it in white, uh, black. I don't remember all the colors. But anyway, we've got it in a few different colors. I'm going to go around this. Now, it's hard to ink up a glycine bag if you've ever tried. You can ink it, and when you touch it, the ink comes right off. This will not. Now, right now, it looks like a mess. Just hold on. I got quite a bit on my little towel here. And I'm not worried about it getting on the back because the back's going to be glued down anyway. So what you can do then is just move your finger around and then just start wiping off any that you don't want on there. So like if you got it a little bit dark like I did on this side then just start wiping a little bit and wipe outward. If you don't want it to go any further on the inside, just wipe outward with it. And you can do this with your finger. I just do it with a wet baby wipe because sometimes when I do this with my finger, I really make a mess. <laughs> I get it. I get too thick. Okay, then I'm just going to wipe my little mat up here. Alright, now I want to see if you can see the shimmer on that. I don't know if you can or not. Maybe. Maybe you can see a little of the shimmer. But it has a shimmer to it. Oh, I do need to put a little bit up there, don't I? That would look kind of strange. So I'm just going to dab it. It doesn't take but a little bit and it goes a long way. It's great for aging your projects. And just don't forget to put the top back on because sometimes if you don't, it'll ooze. If you've squished it, it will. All right, then this is going to glue. I wish you could see that shine. When I do that, I can see it. It's You can see that bronze. It's just so hard to see it on camera with that glossy bag already shiny. So I'm going to put that there. And then... I'm going to cut out one of these labels, and I think I will cut out Imagine. So that's going to go down here, but I feel like I need something else down there to kind of make that look more finished. So we're going to put a piece of book page down there. And let me find, I've got some floating around under here. There we go. See how big we need it. I'm just going to go ahead and use my tear ruler because I want it a little jagged. looking like it's going to pour down rain here, and I think I hear thunder off in the distance. As long as we don't have any more storms. I know everybody's having them right now. 
All right, I think we're going to put that there. And I'm going to use my Barely Arts glue. I use that on vellum always. You can use it on all your other projects too, but I definitely use it on my vellum. That little label there, I think. Yeah, I think we'll put that there, but I am going to go ahead on the edges and I'm going to use the smallest corner rounder just to get rid of those little points. That's all it does. It really doesn't round that much. It just gets rid of the little sharp points. And that um, wax smells so good. It smells good enough to eat, I'm telling you. I'm sitting here smelling it right now, and I'm thinking, oh, that smells good. Isn't that terrible? But now I'm thinking I want something else down here, and I think a little piece of trim will look good there. Let me grab some trim. So I'm thinking the white. I kind of like the way it pulls out the white in here. Trim it off there. And that side. It's the side we need to put down. And I'm not going to put it even right on top of there. I'm going to kind of bring it up a little bit. I know that's hard for you to see, but I'll hold it up in just a second because it being white. And I'm just going to use some of our Fabri-Tac on top of that paper. Now we're ready to put that down. Oh yeah, now that makes that stand out a lot better. Okay, I like that. But I need that bronze right there. I don't know what I'm thinking. Alright, now we have got the bronze there, so I like that. There, you can see how it's shining now. I love that. Okay, and then what? I was going to put it right here, wasn't I? Yep. I like that. Now, where you use that baby wipe on your little vellum, or on your little bag, it may make it pucker just a tiny bit, but you can either... Just let it dry with something heavy over it, or I just go ahead and glue it down, and it, it seems to flatten out. I don't, my baby wipe is not like soppy or anything, it's just a little bit wet. Put that down right there. Yeah, it flattened right out when I put that glue to it. And I've got this little, this is the little piece that, where it folds. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and add it down. All right. So that little guy's finished. I love that. I love how that stands out. Now you could go ahead and put more up here. I don't know that I'll do it right now, but I might later. And we'll make a tag to go in that pocket. All right, I think I'll use a piece of this to make a tag with. I like that color. Or we could use the back. Hmm. I don't know. I might use the back and just decorate it up a lot. Right, I'm going to mark this where to cut it. I'm not going to measure this time. I'll cut it right there, and then I'm going to make mine a little bit taller, so I'll cut it there. So let's lay that aside. Now let's make sure that the tag's going to go in there before we decorate it up. Yes, it will. Okay, let's try the other side and see which one we like better. I think I really like this side better. It doesn't take away from the picture so much. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and work on our tag a little bit. I don't think I'm going to cut it into a tag shape, but I think I'm going to use this little corner, this little tag 
trimmer corner on all four corners. We do have these in the store now. And it cuts that little like that. It'll cut three different ones, but that's the one that I'm using this time. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover the back on this because I want to be able to journal on it. So I'm just going to use some of our writing paper that came in your kit. And I'm going to cover it with that. And I'm going to use my glue stick because that's pretty thin. Oh yes, I think it's going to rain. You hear that thunder? <laughs> I jumped because I wasn't expecting it. There we go. Now we'll trim this off. Yeah, that surprised me. I knew it was getting dark, but I didn't realize that it was that close. Yes. I like that. And this paper is so fun to write on. It, your pen just glides over it. I love it. Or at least I do. Some people might not like that. I have to realize what I like, everybody doesn't, you know? <laughs> everybody doesn't like what I do. All right, I think I am going to use some of these, this greenery, and put on here. This is some that I got from Timu. And I know I had one lady that commented on that video and said, well, it's nice that you're getting all this stuff, but I'd love to see you use some of it. Well, I use it all the time. <laughs> all the time. Trying to figure out which one I like the best. Some of them are a little bit tall. I think it's going to be this one. That one's not quite as tall. And I'm just, I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the edge because I want to put it over that way just a little bit, I think. Or maybe on that side. All right, before I put this down, I'm going to put a little piece of book page behind it. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like it makes it stand out a little bit more. In my eyes it does, and everybody else's eyes it might not. <laughs> I realize what I see and what others see sometimes is a different thing. But I feel like when you're crafting, you've got to do what you like the best. I, I just think that's the way it's got to go, because if it makes you happy, you don't have to worry about everybody else. So I've got to do what makes me happy. All right, we're going to put that right there. And then this is going to go on there like that. And I do have, I got this label I thought I'd put on there. Now this is a, this is washi tape from the washi tape shop. And this is just, um, I think this is from the washi tape shop, is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And it's just labels, different labels that you can peel off and use. I'm hoping that's from them, or either there or Timu, one or the other. That's where I order from now. Okay. Let's see if we can put that one down pretty straight since we've got those lines on there. Maybe I didn't get my head in a shot. Yeah, there we go. I like that. And then down here, I'm going to put a little number. Just got this little number I'm going to tuck in. And I can tuck that in after I put this down. So this is stickers. So we're going to go ahead and try to pull the backing off. This, the backing on these is usually pretty easy. It doesn't take much. Now let's get it put in the right spot if we can, because once these go down, they're down. There's no, no change in your mind. Well, I have pulled them up, but it usually pulls a little bit of paper up with them. There we go. Got that. We only trimmed off just a bare little nub, so. 
And then this will go down here, I think. Kind of make it look like this is a um, one of those specimen cards. Or maybe I'll put that up there. Hmm, I kind of like it up there for some reason. So down here, I'll put a piece of my washi. Now, I told you the other day that I can't find my other washi, so I'm going to use this one. I have no idea what I've did, done with it, did with it, what I did with it. I cannot talk. Don't know. I know it's on my desk somewhere buried. So, my desk has got to be cleaned off tomorrow. Maybe I'll find it. There we go. And I just tore that a little bit. Oh, that says Canadian Polish. Hmm. Well, that's cute. I, did, I have never read that one before. I just found that one when I was looking for my other one. Oops. I like to drop it. Let's put that one right there. Make sure that it's somewhat near straight. Okay. I like that so far. And the good part about it is you could journal on this side too if you wanted to. Or we could add a flower here. What do you think a flower would look like there? It might not look so good. So let's look at one of these tall flowers if we've got a tall one. and just see what it might look like on here. Oh, I kind of like it. It looks like a garden. And there's a different kind there. Those are tall. These came from Timu, and while I'm on that subject, <laughs> I had a few comments that were, I felt like, a little bit uncalled for on my video for the Timu haul. So, some of them I have actually blocked from my channel and deleted their comments, but let me explain a little bit of something to you, just in case anybody else is under the same impression. No, I am not going to just start doing Timu hauls and that's all. I craft. That's my thing. I craft. Yes, I will do a few Timu hauls because it's just a, another way for me to earn a little bit of money that I need. <laughs> so, um, also I had a few little uncalled for comments that said they couldn't believe that I bought from China and that China was taking over the United States and I don't know what all. Well, let me tell you something. Timu, if you'll look and you'll do a little bit of investigating on your own, and I always tell you guys this, don't take my word for anything. You go look it up and you do your own research and you decide what you want to do. I'm no, I don't force any of you guys to do anything. I make suggestions and I make suggestions from what I like. And if you like it, that's fine. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You don't have to like what I like. But if you will look up Timu, just go and look at their website. Go down to the bottom where it says about the company. They are based in Massachusetts. That's where their warehouse is. That's where they work. That's where they employ 10,000 people. So... This company was started in the United States. It is a United States company. As a matter of fact, right now they're looking for a, a tax person that can uh, come in and, you know, take care of all of their taxes because their tax person actually quit, I think. But anyway, they're looking for a tax person. But they are based in the United States. They have an East Coast warehouse and they have a West Coast warehouse. So before you start jumping on me about what I put on my own channel, please go and do your research. This is, yeah, a lot of their product is made in China, but if you look at your product in your house, 99.9% .9 of the product that is made in your house or 
that you craft with comes from China. Even some of the most popular products that we all use and love, and I won't name any names, but do your research, comes from China. They now have it sourced and made in China. The reason being, because China works, their workers are so much less expensive than the workers in America. We'll take a little piece of this washi and just put across these down here just to look like that's holding them down. So there's our tag. I like that. I like it. I like it. And I want to say this too. It wasn't a lot of you, you people that are watching me all the time. These were some people that just came on, I think, to gripe. You know, so, I mean, it didn't bother me. They can gripe all they want. I'll still do what I want to do. All right. That one's good. I like that. I like it. All right. I think we're going to do one more page with something a little bit different. So let me grab some more paper. So now we're going to do something even more different <laughs> than anything else. This is one of those little silverware bags. If you can see, it's just a little silverware bag that I've had in my stash. And then this is going to be a pocket. But what we're going to do is we're going to put this little silverware bag down in here. And I'm going to trim it off. Let me see how much I want to trim off of it. I want it to come close to the top. So we're going to trim off about that much right there. So let me... Let me do that. And I'm just going to use my tear ruler to make it a little bit jagged. And then we're going to stick this down in here. We're going to glue it down right at the edge. Right there. I'm going to put a little pull up here. Because we're going to put a tag in here. And I hope this is going to cut it without making a mess. There we go. It did. A nice sharp punch does wonders, doesn't it? And yes, I'm going to ink around mine. Don't do it if you don't want to. These tend to hold ink pretty well. They're, they're more paper than they are the glycine. Now this I'm going to glue all the way down. So we're going to put glue all the way around it. And I know a lot of you said that you had these little silverware bags, so this is just another way you can use them. I, I don't get any around here, but I got some gifted to me. So that's why I have them to use. Our restaurants around here are too cheap. They just wrap your silverware up in a little napkin. <laughs> they don't give you anything like this. Okay, now... Just press that down. Now that's glued down well and see that's going to be a pocket and then this is going to be a pocket. So we just need to trim this little edge off right here where we rounded that other. It is raining, raining out there. Then we can glue this down but I'm going to go ahead and punch a little pull in the top of it on both sides I think. I can, I should use my ruler and get it centered, but I'm not going to. Right there. Things like this, just don't worry me. Don't worry me. You know that? If my belly wasn't so big, that would have hit the floor. But it popped right up on my stomach when I punched that. I do love you guys. I really do. <laughs> like I said, I'm not necessarily talking to y'all. I'm talking to these people I had not seen comment before. So I think it was just some, maybe some trollers that decided they wanted to spout off a little bit. Okay. And then glue that side down. I didn't love you guys, I wouldn't do so much and give you and do so many videos for you. I mean, I don't do these videos 
necessarily for myself. I do them for you because a lot of you say that you enjoy watching me. Why? I don't know. But <laughs> a lot of you say that you do. So that's who I do them for, you guys. All right. Now I want to decorate this somehow. I want to put something on there. Oh, that's going to be almost the right size. I'm going to trim it down some, but it, it's not long enough. But that'll be a good template we can use. So let's... Let's go to some of our Timu paper. I don't know if in any of this I think it's going to be too dark. Yeah, that's going to be too dark. So we do have two more. Maybe this one won't be. Ooh, this is mostly flowers. I don't think this would be too dark. We could use some of this. It'd be about the right height as well. Ooh, I like that one. Let's just see what we can do with this one. All of this I showed in the haul, and all of it has links below the video. And a lot of people said, well, I have purchased from them before, so I can't use your code. You can still get a discount if you click on the links below my video. They have given my subscribers a special discount on a lot of those items. May not be all of your items that you're looking for, but it'll be a, quite a few of them. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not sitting here and just keeping on promoting them. I am just trying to answer questions. It's a lot easier for me to answer them on here than it is to answer each and every individual one by typing it all out. Okay. Now that's pretty paper. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. That pocket is basically finished. We'll probably put a little label or something on there and it'll be done. And then the tag will go in here and it'll go all the way down to the bottom and then you'll have another tag here. So it's just a couple of ways, different ways to do and add little tags and pockets and more interest to your journals. All right, guys, I think that is all I'm going to do on this video. I'll lay all these little layouts out. So I'll lay all the layouts out so that you can see. And we will talk to you guys later. We'll come back and do more on this in the next few days. We'll talk to you later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.